prom is just around the corner. Um, I know that at my high school, prom was sometime in March or April usually. And I think some other people have it earlier even, which is crazy because you're probably freezing to death. And I think some people have it even later, which I think is smart. I think it should be like um, the end of May so that you can wear your really pretty dresses and not freeze to death. But anyway, that's just my opinion. So, prom is coming up and I have, um, I've based this eye look off of two things. Number one, price. And number two, a dress that I thought would go gorgeous with it, which I will link below. It's by Sheri Hill and I found it on promgirl.com and I'll put everything in the in the bottom bar below. But this look, I um, when I was 16, 17, 18, whatever, I did not wear makeup. So I didn't know anything about, um, you know, how to apply makeup, how to pick colors to match both um, my face and my prom dress. I didn't know anything about it. So Whenever um, I just thought about doing videos, I thought it would be a great idea to come on here and maybe help um, somebody figure out what they would like to do. I know that now I feel like a lot more girls do makeup at a younger age. I didn't really start wearing makeup until I was around 20. And I actually mentioned that in a previous video that I just never really wore makeup. It wasn't my thing. I don't know why, but I'm in love with it now. I really got involved in, um, or got obsessed with it whenever I got involved in a play at my, in my college. We were doing the theatrical makeup, and that's when I really found my love for makeup. So anyway, this is a really affordable look. You can do this with all drugstore brands. I think maybe total you would spend, I don't know, on, on the eyes alone, maybe like $15, I think, because um, I'm using the Wet n Wild Blue Had Me at Hello palette, and I'm using this quad over here. And then um, I actually used a MAC gel liner, but you could get a L'Oreal or a Maybelline, which is much cheaper. And then, um, and you don't even have to use a gel liner. I just used it to give it that extra pop of color and to do my water line and tight line. Um, you could just wet down, like I do in the video, you could wet down one of the two blacks. I used this one just because I was using all from this quad. I did wet it down and that made it a lot darker. You could do that solely and not do a gel liner. And then, of course, um, if you don't have any mascara, you have you could buy some mascara, some false lashes, those sorts of things. I'm using Physicians Formula Bronzer on my skin. Bronzer, I'm wearing um, the, this is the Cashmere Wear Ultra Smoothing Bronzer. And it's just this little um, adorable case with the bronzer in it. And then for a highlighter, I'm using Physicians Formula um, Translucent Pearl. And it just looks like this. And it's a gorgeous translucent shimmery powder and it opens up and um, has like a place for you to put a new brush and yeah has a mirror in it so this is really cute and I think that's a gorgeous let me see if I'll show you gorgeous pearl color so anyway I'm using those on my face and then for lip gloss it's a Bath and Body Works lip gloss it's just the summer vanillas and this is in Berry, and this is really yummy, really pretty. It has a white sort of glaze to it, so it makes your lips a little bit white and sparkly. So, yeah, um, these colors are gorgeous. This was $5, $4.99, and that is such a great deal. Now, granted, they had these in quads, but this one I got a pack of eight because I didn't see um, this one by itself, and this is the one I really wanted. I've not tried these, so I don't know how the pigmenting is or anything like that. Sometimes they can vary based on shadows. Even high-end brands vary based on, you know, shadow to shadow, but these are all gorgeous. They all work really well. The one I was least impressed with was, was the black glitter, but I feel like black shadows are really hard to get, um, to get a good one. And so, yeah, but this color is absolutely beautiful. It's this aqua with maybe some, like, gold glitter running through it. It's just beautiful and it goes on perfectly and it makes a gorgeous um, prom eye I think if and even if you don't wear it with a dress this color if you're going for like a more classic black look and you want your color to stand out in your jewelry and your eyes I think this would be a great way to do that go ahead and get started in this prom tutorial and I'm sorry if I'm like flushing out of breath and like uh, sniffly I'm still fighting this cold I thought it was gone and then it just came back with a vengeance so yeah, I'm a little bit icky still, but hopefully it won't affect the video at all, and I will see you guys really soon, and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is prime your eye. I'm using Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and you always want um, to prime your eye, but definitely on a night like prom, you really want to have your eyes properly primed, especially if you're going to be dancing and sweating, and you know, you don't want your eyeshadow creasing in the middle of prom. So definitely use a good primer. 
And I'm just going to take this and apply a little bit to my lid. And just blend that out with your finger all the way up to the brow bone. Next, to make sure this really stays, I'm going to take some of Max Painterly Paint Pot. Just like this. I'm just going to rub my finger in there and apply this all over the lid as well, all the way up to the brow bone. Not only does this mute out any um, colors that are in your eyelid, it also will help set the powder even more. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and start with my shadows. I'm taking the second one down. It says eyelid, and it's this beautiful aqua turquoise type of color. And I'm going to take that, and I'm going to go in, and I'm using my MAC 239 shader brush. And I'm just going to apply this all over the lid, just like it says on the eyeshadow palette. This is for the eyelid, and it's a gorgeous color, especially for such a great price. I feel like these are amazingly pigmented, and they go on beautifully. Okay, now I'm just going to go in with a dome-shaped pencil brush. And I'm going to go in with the color that says crease right below that aqua or the teal, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to go, it's a navy blue. A short, sort of a, um, it's a little bit of a shimmery navy blue. I'm just going to put some of that on my brush. Tap off any excess. And I'm just going to go right in the crease. Just like that. Then I'm going to go in with my Sigma SS224, which looks like this. Which is just a blending brush, and I'm just going to blend that out. Now try not to blend this on to your aqua color because that will muddy it up. So just sort of blend it upwards. And we're just blending this color in windshield wiper motions. Next I'm going to go back in with that same pencil brush, get some more of that same navy blue, and I'm going to run a very small line along the crease. And I'm going to take this all the way in to the inner corner of the eye. And you want to be precise with this one because this one we're not going to blend out at all. We're just going to leave it just to give that extra pop of navy blue. Next I'm going in with a dome, large dome shaped brush and I'm going in with the top color. It says brow bone on it. So it's this light aqua color, almost, um, almost white. It's so light but it's gorgeous when you put it on. I'm just going to put some of that on our brush and I'm going to apply this to the brow bone. Just sort of packing it on. Get a little more and bring that all the way in to meet the inner corner where the other three colors meet. And just sort of blend it into that navy. Next I'm going back in with the first color that we put on our lid and I'm going to take a MAC 239, the same brush that has that color on it, and I'm going to dip it into that same color and I'm going to run this along the lower lash line. And I'm just going to do it about three quarters of the way. I'm going to take that same brush that we used for our brow bone. And I'm going to get a little bit of that same brow bone color just on the tip like that. And I'm just going to put it in my duct. And then along the lower lash line to meet up with that turquoise. I've put a little tiny bit of water in a bottle cap lid. And I'm going to take an angled liner brush just like this. And I'm going to dip it in that definer color because I want it to really stand out. And blacks are kind of hard to get to stand out. Um, in shadows, I feel like, especially in the, um, the drugstore brands. And while these colors are pigmented really well, I really want it to be a black line. So I'm going to dip my brush in that water. And then I'm just going to dip it into that um, black, which is a very shimmery black. And I'm just going to line my top lash line. Now I'm going to wing mine out. This is completely optional, but I feel like prom is a time when you can really have fun and play with your makeup. So a great wing and winged eye is a really, a winged eye is really in right now. So this is a great time to be able to do it. I'm just going to create my outline right now. And I'm just going to take this brush and hold it at an angle with the point towards my eye. And just look up and flick. 
Now I'm going to draw where I want that to meet and just bring that onto my lid. Dipping in water and shadow as needed until you get it all filled in. Now because like I said a powder is never black black. I've never, unless it's like a MAC or something like that. So another really affordable way to make this eyeliner pop is to do a liquid liner and I'm going to be using L'Oreal's telescopic liquid liner and it has a felt tip applicator just like that. And I'm going to follow that same line and just darken this up. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Black Track Fluid Line from MAC and I'm going to use a, um, a liner brush. This is a MAC 219. Yeah, 219. And um, something comparable or something that you could get for about the same price, at, or about, the same, about the same consistency at a drugstore would be um, Maybelline and L'Oreal both have a gel liner, which are great. And I've used them both and they're both amazing. So if you wanted a more affordable brand, I just don't have them right now to use. But if you want something more affordable, you could definitely get those. And I'm just going to use this to line my tight line and my water line. So to do this, I just look down and then line the top line just along the inner rim of the eye. And I take it all the way to my duct. For my water line, I just gently tug, pull down without tugging and just line the inner rim. So to top this all off, I am going to be applying fake lashes because I feel like no evening out, um, you know, whether it be like some sort of ball or prom, whatever, is complete without fake lashes. They just make your eyes go from just, you know, pretty to, um, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. So today I'm going to be using um, Revlon. These are a very affordable brand. I think they're like $8. And this is in 91002. It's the intensifying one. And this is what they look like. They're very wispy. Um, very airy. They don't like overpower your eye. So I'm going to um, apply these. So I'm just using my Duo Lash Adhesive and I'm just going to, let me flip this around so you can see it maybe. Okay. I'm just going to apply a dot of glue and drag it along. Drag it along the lashes. We're going to let this dry for a little bit. While you're letting your lashes dry, it's a good idea to curl them just so that they'll conform better to the shape of your eye. And I'm just going to squeeze that. I take tweezers and I'm going to grab the ends and press them into where I want them to stick. Okay, I'm just going to apply some mascara. I'm using Maybelline Falsies. Uh, mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's it you guys. That was it for my prom look. I just applied mascara to my bottom lashes. I didn't even put it on my top because I wanted that really um, defined lash look that comes with the, the fake lashes that I have on. And yeah, that was it on my face I'm wearing. I mentioned this in the intro, but I'm wearing um, the Physicians Formula Cashmere Wear Bronzer and the Physicians Formula Mineral Glow Pearls in the Translucent Pearl on my face. This is my bronzer and this is my highlighter. I'm not wearing a blush. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. I'm wearing a Bath & Body Works lip gloss in Summer Vanillas. And it's in the flavor Berry. And it's very yummy, very pretty white. And yeah, so I hope you guys have an amazing prom. I hope you feel like a beautiful princess because that's what you should feel like on your prom day. And then if you guys use this as an inspiration to do any sort of prom look, please comment and let me know or give me a video response. Just anything to let me know that this actually helped you or that you used it as an inspiration to, you know, jump off and do your own thing. So I hope you guys have a great prom and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye!